What's going on, Fit Fam, Lifters and Fighters? I hope everyone is doing really well today. We're just going to jump into this. I picked up something new from Amazon. Now, most of you who have been following my social media lately knows I have been doing a lot of food prepping. And it is pretty much what you just saw in the photo. It's cooking a whole bunch of food and measuring out portions to know what I'm going to need to fit my diet that has been so crucial to my weight loss success. Okay? For those of you who also food prep knows it is a long, <laughs> tedious task. It takes some time to do this. That is the hardest part of losing weight. It's not the workouts. It's it's not the discipline. It's 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 the well. It's the discipline because you got to food prep, and food prep takes for freaking hour ever. So uh, I went looking for something I could help me get through my food prepping quicker and easier. And this is what I picked up: the Presto 16-inch electric, electric fold-away skillet. And this thing is pretty big, as you can see. Uh, and let's just uh, let's just jump into it to show you the guys the size here. Whoosh. So there's your standard size skillet. This is Old Faithful. I've been using it for a long time. Of course, I use this in conjunction with the oven back here. But that's the big boy right there. So you can see a massive size difference in how big this thing is, even from the sides. So you're going to be able to cook a lot more food a lot faster and spend less time uh, food prepping. So that was the idea. I mean, check this thing out. Let's go over here to the normal one. So if I stick my hand down it, you see it comes up to about the second knuckle there. But this massive bad boy, I'll move that. I'm going to stick my hand in. As you can see, it comes all the way up to my fingers, like almost to my palm. So that is going to be the advantage. Of course, I'm still going to use this one in conjunction with this one. I'll just be able to do more, of course, with the stove. I'm going to be able to knock out food prep in no time. Okay, so I got it clean. Uh, and this is now warming up. And I got all my chicken uh, breast cut up. This is a whole big pack of chicken breast that I diced up with some uh, scissors, you know, some food cheers. And uh, usually before this big bowl of chicken, it would have to only have to cook it half time in this. I'd, I'd have to cook half then, and when I done, then cook the other half. This one looks like I'm gonna be able to cook it all, so it looks like it's pretty warm. And uh, I'm gonna hit it with. Uh, this little bit of coconut oil spray. Normally I got some coconut oil spray in there, but since I'm doing this one-handed. Now I'm just kind of act as a lubricant, give it a little little flavor too. And looks like that's about ready, so we are going to start cooking. This is tall so man, I'm so glad I bought this bigger one. This is gonna be so easy. Spread that out. We're gonna do a little bit of Japanese, little uh, Polynesian style, little coconut aminos. This will be our seasoning for this. Oh, it smells fantastic. Coconut chicken. Taste and benefits. Squeeze it. Squeeze some lemon juice on it. I will not be adding any salt or pepper to this because after it's done, you can do that by uh, taste anyway. Alright. So we're just going to let this cook. Come check on it later. All right, so I've uncovered my chicken and it was kind of bland, right? <laughs> and uh, well, right now it is. And uh, I mean, I have a very bland diet anyway, just trying to lose weight and 
I eat more for uh, function than I do pleasure anymore. Uh, but uh, you know, it'll don't worry. I'll spice it up. You know, a little salt and pepper. I got some other little spices I can put on it. It's not going to taste like crap. So if you do do your chicken like this, one of the good things you can do is when you uncover it, when you cover it, it just cooks it faster. Uh, when you uncover it, you know, sometimes you see all this, you know, water and stuff in it. And I hate that. And I'm sure a lot of people love to hate that. It's no big deal. Just let it continue to cook with the top off. That's going to boil and continue to reduce. Then the chicken will actually start browning on the outside. Uh, you know, as though you're like pan searing it. So just uh, give it time and let it cook down. And uh, it'll uh, lock in that moist moisture inside the chicken once you brown the outside and sear it. So it'll be pretty good. And then we'll get the vegetables going here. Alright guys, just to speed up the process, I've actually dumped the water. Now you could let it cook out. But I realized something on this new one. There was this handy dandy little spout. It could also use, like, if you're cooking something with sauce and use, like, a wooden spoon, of course, you can leave it sticking out. But it's also a spout. I just put unplugged it, put the lid on it, dumped it. And, man, we're speeding up this process at twice the speed as what it normally took me with the with mold skillet and just pans and stuff like that. I don't know, guys, man. This might... This 16 is Presto uh, skillet might be... Uh, might be on your want list because this thing is fantastic. The controls, the dials, the standard, uh, you know, like anything else you'd see from an electric skillet. But I mean, just the overall size of it, man, this is, uh, you know, if you're someone who likes to entertain, especially with Super Bowl parties coming in, food, peppers, you got a big family. I mean, this is this is the way to go right here. I'm still going to use my smaller one to incorporate with this one, man. I'm just going to make uh, my food prepping like a snap, and uh, it's already starting to brown this up. So this chicken's just about done. I'm going to let it brown for a few more minutes, and we are going to get started on the vegetables. I am food prepping my protein. I love you protein. I love you protein. You know what? You just gotta make it. <laughs> you just gotta make it fun because doing this is boring as shit. <laughs> okay, so our chicken is done and brown. And uh, I think I got a little too brown on one side, but that's alright. Uh, so this man, I think, was fantastic. So now we are going to do. This big ass bag of frozen veggies I get from Costco. I love these things. And just like this, I always had to cook half a bag at a time. Let's see if we can fit this whole bag in there. I'm pretty sure we can. All right, so same thing before. A little bit of uh, coconut oil for some lubrication and flavor. And Hang on, I'm gonna need two hands over so thought and hooked this whole big bag. Bam. This is awesome. Love this. Now sometimes I leave some uh, frozen uh, and just put it in with the meals, but I kind of want to cook this up. And um, it just it just has a different flavor, of course, when you cook it up and uh, saute it in and stuff. So this is, uh, of course, like I said, this is all frozen. So, just like before, we're going to take our coconut aminos. Splash them on. And just let that infuse. Boom. Seriously, man, this is taking half the time, guys. You've got to get one of these. Check out the link. I'm going to post a link to it where I got it. So you can uh, just click it and see it for yourself and check it out. And uh, we'll be back when we're putting these meals together. Okay, so here we go. All right, so ignore the little mess here. This is just all a part of meal prepping. So we've got the veggies going. Let's see how they're going. And look at that. Look at 
good, smelling good. Let those go a little bit longer. So we got our trays, our food containers, whatever you want to call them. We, I get these from Isolator Fitness. Um, you can use any tray you want to. I just prefer these because I like the way how thin the lids are, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't leak. I mean, if you throw it around, it'll leak. But you know, I like that, and I like the thought, the the thickness, the size of it. So this is my preferred brand. I know that was not a money plug. I had to buy these. But this is my preferred brand. That's what I like. Plus, when you microwave them, because of the dark, the black of the container, it heats up quicker. So you don't have to microwave them as long. So, and the reason I leave that on there first, so it'll zero out. And we're going to use, I use eight ounces of protein at a time. Eight ounces of meat protein. Give or take a few. Okay, so we got 4.3. And that's seven. Let's try. I found this eight ounces works best for me. There's one. I figure it'd be about two more. Two. Okay, that's it. And then when the veggies are done, I will push this all over to the side, cram the rest full of veggies, and we'll continue doing that with those until this is empty. And here's six ready to go. That's all it is to it.